tire blowout is primarily caused by tire flex. So tire flex is what occurs at the contact patch where the tire touches down. So if I overload the tire, that contact patch gets bigger. It'll get longer, it'll also get wider. Every time the tire tread and sidewall come into that tire patch zone, it has to deform. And that flex creates heat. If it builds up too much heat, it can cause the sidewalls of the tire to lose their integrity and blow out. Each rotation is going to cause this to flex and unflex. So another factor in this is speed. The more times that that tire tread and, and sidewall are having to go through their, through that zone, or the faster you're driving, the more heat is going to build up. To find out what loads your tires can take, look on the sidewall. There's a rating for the single axle or for a dual axle. So in this example, if I have a dual axle, I'm going to use this dual axle rating. I'm going to multiply this load rating by four because I have four tires. And I'm going to compare that to what the axle loads are. These load ratings that are printed on the tire are cold. What that means is first time in the morning, right before you're taking off for your trip, that's when you check them. As you drive, the tire is going to heat up and that pressure is going to change. It's going to get slightly higher. You wouldn't want to deflate your tires at that point. The, the rating of 50 PSI in this example is cold. And also remember that the weight of the trailer isn't all carried by these tires. Some of the weight of your trailer is gonna be carried by the tow vehicle, whether that be on the hitch at a bumper tow or right over the axle on a, a gooseneck or a fifth wheel trailer.